dancing villages created about 1730 attributed to pandit siv india himachal pradesh opaque watercolors on paper our audio begins with the object label followed by audio description seven men dance with abandon to the tune of four musicians arms extended and knees bent these animated figures are positioned against a red background with only a hint of ground below and horizon line above unusual for a painting from the later indian courts that portray dance the figures are devoid of a larger court performance or a narrative context instead an intensity is created and communicated through expressive face and writhing form this is a dance without a discernible organized presentation or recognizable posture This painting has previously been published as Dancing Dervishes. It neither title captures its essence of dancers and a passionately absorbed in the movement. The identification as dervishes and a dance linked to Sufi devotional practices likely comes from the elongated sleeve of one dancer. In earlier Persian and then Mughal paintings, elongated sleeves served as a symbol of expressing contemplation, transcendence and intoxication in both physical and spiritual realms. audio description the landscape oriented approximately 7 by 10 inch image of dancing villagers is painted with an opaque watercolor on paper a group of seven male dancers are distributed across the image on a muted rust red background the three figures at the top of dance in a row with the dancers below them occupying the fore and mid ground depicted by their placement slightly above and below each other the skin tones of the men are in various shades from ivory white to gray black Some have mustaches and black beards while others are clean shaven. Some dancers appear old with deep creases in their skin indicated by painted black lines while others have smooth lineless faces. They are all depicted in profile looking in various directions. The figures wear long sleeved belted skirted tunics over pants in white, lemon yellow, pastel purple and grass green hues. They are all barefoot. On their heads they wear turbans in a similar array of colors. From the viewer's top left to right, one dancer holds his arms out wide, feet together. Next, a dancer kicks his left leg behind him, heel towards the sky. His right arm is raised upward, a long sleeve extends beyond his right hand, then arches back down right above his head. Next, a dancer holds a scarf above his head, feet planted on the ground. Below the three dancers at the top, in the viewer's lower left, A seated or squatting dancer holds his right arm above his head. His left arm straight out towards the dancer next to him. The next dancer faces his seated companion. He is standing with hands above his head, four fingers and thumbs touching as if he is snapping to the beat of the music. The next dancer extends his right arm out at the shoulder level. He faces right. His left arm is raised above his head. Another dancer holds a scarf above his head and turns towards the musicians aligned along the right edge of the painting. From top to bottom the uppermost musician blows a long narrow brass colored horn like instrument that points down at about a 45 degree angle towards the center of the painting. The musician below him plays a black shorter necked horn like instrument. The two final musicians play the drums. A large chestnut brown and tan barrel shaped drum hangs from a strap across one drummer's shoulders the other drummer is seated below him in the foreground hunched over playing a smaller bowl shaped drum with drumsticks a patchwork sky and navy blue textile is wrapped around his shoulders draping below his bare feet